Hey everyone, I am your host Instill, and today we are covering the Tim Cook Stalker. Let's get into it. A woman by the name of Julia Lee Choi, who lived in McLean, Virginia, reportedly stalked Apple's CEO, Tim Cook. The story was first reported on the 24th of January this year, but was allegedly started in 2020. Now that's from my information and anything I could find, so um, I don't know how accurate that is, but if you look on Google quickly for Julia Lee Choi, um, that is the the first instance from what I saw. Previously, Choi had tweeted about Tim Cook being her baby's father, despite his openly queer sexuality. Obviously, these allegations are not true and proof that not everything you hear on the internet is true. Her DMs and emails to Tim Cook got progressively more aggressive. She then emailed Mr. Cook demanding a whopping 500 million USD, maybe as child support payment. If you are enjoying this video, make sure to like and subscribe. We are halfway to 100 subscribers, and I would like to reach 100 by my birthday in June. Thank you, and enjoy. Choi, like the stalker she was being, aggressively emailed Mr. Cook asking to be his roommate. In case you were worried that Choi was all bark, she drove an alleged 43 hours to Palo Alto, California, just to see Cook. Somehow, it gets worse. Cook's personal security took her to vacate the premises, to which she cooperated but returned just minutes later. The Palo Alto police had to get involved at this point, where she then threatened them, leading to a verbal warning in the towing of her luxury Porsche SUV because she had an expired driver's license. Her vehicle was searched and nothing incriminating was found. After the incident, she was allowed to walk away, free of any charge. Apple still believes she is in Silicon Valley, and maybe even armed. Apple got a restraining order against her set to 200 yards against all employees, including Tim Cook. My opinion on the Tim Cook stalker. Um, she was definitely in the wrong to do that, and no one should ever be stalked or stalk anyone, whether... Well, no, just no matter what. It's just not a good thing. Stalking people, it's very uh, invasive and highly illegal, I'm pretty sure. Um, so... The whole point of my opinion is to give you what I think about this situa the situation. And seeing as I'm not a big Apple fan, uh, you would think I would think pretty lowly of this. But again, stalking is a big issue, and it should never be done no matter who you are, no matter who you work for, or whatever you're doing, if you get paid for it or not. It's bad. Stalking people, terrible. Don't do that. Now, my opinion on uh, Julia Lee Choi is that not only was she wrong for um, stalking Tim Cook, but she was also wrong for even thinking, right, that um, Tim Cook was the father to her child. I don't know how that works. I really don't, and I don't think I want to. The ask of $500 million for child support, I guess, that, what? Come on. He's not going to pay that, I hope wouldn't think he would. Now, the aggressive emails were bad. Driving 43 hours just to see someone that you don't even know? Like, what's the point? Come on. The restraining order very well makes sense, and the fact they think she's armed is a little scary, but I, I would say it's nothing really to worry about. If you live in the Palo Alto area, though, um, I'd watch out. No, that's not a joking matter. I don't know why I'm laughing, but... Yeah, that, that's about all. Uh, that's all I have on the story for now. Thank you for watching, and check out my other content. I guarantee there's something you will like in that catalog. And as will become tradition, my sources are all linked in the description below, so make sure to check out those articles, and her Twitter is also linked if you want to go check that out.